some insight about the profession of optometry and vision science in India. Well, before I go into the details about the profession, I would like to share some interesting facts with you all. Did you know that globally 36 million people are blind and 253 million people are visually impaired? India alone contributes to almost a quarter of this total 36 million blind. The leading causes of blindness are uncorrected refractive error and cataract, and these can be avoided if detected early. In order to cater this huge population, a team of eye care professionals are working together at various levels. There are ophthalmologists who are eye surgeons having a doctorate degree in medicine who can medically treat eye diseases and perform surgery. Then there are optometrists. According to the World Council of Optometry, they are primary healthcare practitioners of the eye who provide comprehensive eye and vision care which includes refraction and dispensing, detection, diagnosis and management of diseases in the eye and rehabilitation of conditions of the visual system. So in this video, I am going to talk about the profession of optometry, namely the course eligibility, the curriculum and the job prospects. Optometry is a health science course, a four year degree course, which has three years of theory and one year of extensive internship. A student can pursue this course after completing 12th standard with science, preferably with biology as one of the mains, along with physics and chemistry. After completion of degree, students can also apply for a master's in optometry as well as a PhD. So what we learn in these three years? Well, the first year comprises of basic human anatomy and physiology, and of course, detail of the structure of eye, Lots of optics, physical and geometrical properties of light, a part of pharmacology, a part of microbiology and biochemistry as well. These are to put the fundamentals right before going into the mainstream optometry, which is in the second year. In the second year, we learn how to assess the refractive power of the eye and do a comprehensive eye examination, various other measurements of the eye using different instruments choosing proper correction methods, for example, spectacle or a contact lens, properly dispensing a spectacle and also about various eye diseases and how to diagnose and detect them. The third year is more into specialities like contact lenses, low visual aids, binocular vision, processes, and more of learning on detection and diagnosis of various eye diseases. Other topics like sports vision and occupational optometry are also taught. So, after finishing these three years of theory, the fourth year is to apply all these practically and get more accurate. Although under the supervision of a senior optometrist or an ophthalmologist, and this is called an internship. Your internship will mostly be in an hospital, eye hospital, where the 12 months will be divided into segments, where you will be posted into various specialty departments to get hold of most of what you have learned in your theory classes. Once you have completed your degree program comes your placement. A career as an optometrist can be very fulfilling as it provides a wide scope for employment. Optometrists can practice independently or have a joint practice along with an ophthalmologist, become an educator or head of an educational institute, contribute to an eye care institution, be a member of professional services in corporate organization, become a researcher in basic science and clinical research, or join the central or state government hospitals and healthcare centers. Students who are interested in further studies can also pursue their masters and PhD in optometry and continue to become teachers for this fantastic profession. Students can even pursue career in public health and social work. As primary eye care practitioners, optometrists have a vital role in detecting potentially serious eye diseases such as cataract, glaucoma, age-related maculopathy, and general health conditions such as hypertension and diabetes. In order to provide comprehensive vision care to all the people of the country, India needs a large number of optometrists. I hope that I have been able to give you an insight about the global scenario of blindness and how optometrists play a vital role in eradication of blindness. I would urge more and more of our science graduates to take up this noble profession and help our society to be avoidable blindness free. Thank you for your time. Bye.